Okay, so what we are trying right now is a synchronized play of Subterranea. So I have started capturing a video at the same time as theoretically I am uh, recording my voiceover. So let's see what I can do as far as trying to keep this entertaining. Now right now I've got nothing scripted, I've got nothing even prepared, but I love this game. A tremendous deal. Now let's get a little bit closer to the fucking microphone, how about? This is probably not at quite the right height. In fact, I'm probably still a little bit too far from it, but we shall see what happens. Okay, so here we go. We are at the menu. Now, uh, Subterranea doesn't really feature a hell of a lot that you've got to customize here. I mean, the difficulty, I honestly have no idea what this is really going to affect, apart from perhaps how much damage enemies deal. You know what, let's, let's try it on hard. I've never actually tried that. You wouldn't want to disable the music, by the way, because the music is freaking awesome. Um... Just for Kid put together a pretty swanky ass soundtrack here with some of the grimiest FM sounds that you will ever hear in a good way. In a good way. This is like sort of the the best of the what the the best of the worst that the Genesis soundtrack has to offer, if that makes any sense. Um Okay. Now I tend to blindingly, blunderingly stumble through these uh, mission briefing screens, uh, and that's never a good thing, because there are very specific things that you've got to actually do in these levels, um, and if you've never played one before, the odds of you just intuitively knowing how to, how to solve the stage is pretty slim. I mean, like, stage three, for instance, I mean, you'll have no, no idea, no idea. Okay, but I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Let's watch the, the slick-ass scrolling in this particular segment. I, I don't really, I don't really get the importance of that. And like, what the fuck? Guy, what, what's the guy doing? What's he doing? Okay. Oh, this game's awesome. Thrust physics are sweet. Oh my f good lord! Okay, well, that's quite quite dramatic how much damage is being dealt by those <laughs> enemies. Uh, hard mode truly is just unreasonably difficult. I wonder if my fuel consumption is, like, oh, you know, worse as well. Probably. It feels kind of like gravity is stronger. That's actually kind of a nice change, and it looks like my shots have a short range. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. Oh, for fuck's sake. This game is sort of, well, I would say notorious for its difficulty, but yeah, no one talks about Subterranea. Really a shame. Because I first heard about this game in Game Players Magazine. I, I, if I remember, and this is just pulling completely from the memory of my childhood reading the magazine, I'm pretty sure it got like a score somewhere in like the high 70s, you know, like 79, 78. And I remember a childhood friend of mine a gentleman named Warren. I remember he had this game, and I played it like once. And I just remember, well, either being sort of lost and unaware of what to do, or just, I don't know, maybe not knowing what to make of it exactly. But after having discovered the game later, oh, for fuck's sakes. After, oh, fuck. After having discovered the game later on, like, I remember... Pretty sure, you know what, if, if I were to refer to my spreadsheet, I'd be able to find where I sourced this actual cartridge from. But it was from probably some, like, like, a, like a pawn shop for like a few bucks. I quickly gained an affinity for this game. Now, that being said, I've never actually beaten it, um, or even really gotten that hard in it. But it's like, um, oh god, oh god. <sighs> Imagining... Lord, being a being a kid in sort of the, the the heyday of video rental, you know, stores. Oh, well, that's great. So I respawn at the at the at the ending launch pad. How convenient! That would be a glass of ice water that I've unwittingly and unwisely placed a little too close to the microphone. Okay, now um, this level is actually pretty pretty fun. That first level is kind of a kind of a chore. I guess it's set up that way for, you know, tutorial purposes, but who knows? I don't really know if there's any particular rhyme or reason to this uh Oh god, I hate this guy. Let's see 
it's kind of unfortunate because there are a variety of cool weapons in this game, but if you choose anything other than the red shot, you're starting at level 1, and whereas here you can quickly upgrade to level 2, and that makes life considerably, considerably more pleasant. Oh, baby. This extreme gravity is really quite nice, gotta say. It makes the game feel so much, I don't know, so much more substantial. Wow, that was incredible. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuel low. I've barely, barely used my fuel. That's just such an awesome, weird, grimy, twangy sound. This was one of the uh, the first soundtracks that really sort of made me appreciate Genesis music, or at least opened myself up to it, the appreciation of it. You know, these sorts of more abrasive, kind of like harsh tones that, you know, are... Oh my god, that was awesome! Just those sort of abrasive, harsh tones that really just, you know, characterize sort of Genesis music. Kind of. I, I mean, usually... Oh god, my weapon's powered down. Fuck you. What a pile of shit. Oh god. <sighs> See, this game is just insane. Ah. The option, the, the, re the decision to play this on difficult was probably not a particularly good one. But this guy is going down, I tell ya. Get that tentacle out of the way. We are on easy mode now, motherfucker. Now I apologize for the for the rampant cursing here. It just kind of makes it just kind of makes sense. I can I can see why it's sort of a sort of a popular thing to do when recording these uh, these sort of let's play style videos. I mean, it's one way to kind of keep your mind lubricated, I suppose, or rather, you know, just like the uh, oh god. If I were to go ahead and, and actually like turn this into some kind of a some kind of a script, some kind of a scripted segment of sorts, I would have on hand the name of that alien race described in The Hitchhiker's Guide. Those telepaths. Oh, God. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Kill this mother. That's right. Skeletonized. God. Sweet mother. Fuck! Does zero count as a life? Probably not. <sighs> okay, well that was potentially a successful experiment. Well, I'm facing away from the microphone now, which is a pretty stupid thing to do. Um, okay, done. <laughs>